Hey, what is going on guys? Inferno LH here, and today, welcome back to another r slash Terraria video, where I recap the top posts from the past week. The final showdown. Wow, that looks awesome. That is very high quality artwork right there. I, Wow, that looks amazing. I would set this as my wallpaper, to be completely honest. Just, wow, that looks great. Is, why has Moonlord got like a, a robe on? That, that's a little weird and is it just me or does the guy in the beetle armor kind of look like purple doom guy a little bit i mean the helmet not really but the whole armor set kind of looks like the doom guy anyways this is this is amazing wow terraria is sexist okay we got the mannequin here the sell price is 23 copper and then the womanikin is no wait, wait. <laughs> the womanikin is no value what is this wait why why is that the case? I would think that they would just be the exact same sell price because, well, you even use the same exact ma materials to craft them and they are practically the same thing. They do the same thing. I That's got to be unintentional, right? I, I don't know why it would be like that. If you are enjoying this video so far, could you please like and subscribe to my channel? I would really appreciate it. I will also leave the link to my Discord server in the description of this video if you want to go ahead and join that. But anyways, let's get straight back to the posts. I had a dream where I was French kissing the Eater of Worlds. Oh, uh, this makes me feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> Can we just go to the next post already? Why does the helmet get rid of my magnificent beard? Honestly, I really wish... This would be a lot of work for the developers, but I really wish that helmets didn't get rid of all your hair and facial hair, because... That would just look so much better if it showed that with some helmets. Not all of them, but with helmets like the wooden one or ones that show your face, it would make sense. But the reason why is because the developers would have to re-sprite like all of the different helmets with the beards and that would take forever for them to do that. I don't see them doing it, but that would be really nice. Quality of life update. Summoner needs its own modifiers. Yeah, I really agree. Some like a lot of the modifiers for summoners are just useless. Especially like the ones that reduce mana costs. Like that's so useless. But anyways, it looks like this person's created a list of a bunch of different modifier ideas, which is pretty nice. So you could have like an efficiency one here. So you can have more summons with a modifier. That would be pretty nice. A range, that'd be pretty nice. Because for the most parts, well, I guess some summons do, but a lot of summons won't cover the whole screen sometimes, so this would be pretty nice for extra range. Speed should affect the minion's movement. Ooh, that's actually, that'd be so great. Imagine having modifiers where your summons just fly even faster, that'd be so cool. Size should also affect minions. <laughs> Yeah, even in this case, just imagine having a ginormous finch staff or a ginormous, like, oh, I feel like the Terra Prisma would look awesome, so would the Stardust Dragon. And then we got uh, just a few different stat bonus ones or modifiers with different, with the things that they showed previously, actually. That's what this is. Okay. Yeah, I, I would love to see these added to the game. And then here we got a few more listed and even more. Hear me out, guys. This, but for bats. Ooh, that's such a great idea. I would love that. The slime one really isn't that useful. I mean, you can easily avoid most slimes, but bats, bats, dude. Especially at the start of the game. They are so deadly because they're tiny and they deal so much damage. That would be great. Although, not quite sure how you would get it because the royal gel is a drop from King Slime. So maybe the bat version would just be... A very rare chance to drop from bats or something i don't know what else it could be from probe yo-yo idea Ooh, wow that's actually that i really like this idea that that would be a cool unique yo-yo so it's just the probe from the destroyer but on a string and you swing it around like a cat uh just like a regular yo-yo i would assume but it also shoots lasers oh that would be so cool i would love this man the terraria community has so many awesome ideas every Every week I see so many brand new cool ideas. What do you think? So the dumbbell would be an accessory to Im grants immunity to low gravity and water resistance. Can be used in your inventory, right click to turn off. Oh, so it's not an accessory. Obtained by throwing an uncumbering stone in the shimmer. You mean the encumbering stone? Whatever. 
Honestly, I mean, sure, I had this, this, I wouldn't mind with this being added to the game, really. But it doesn't seem like it would really have that much use. I mean, low gravity, you're, why would you even be in space? I mean, there's not very many reasons for you to be up there. And water resistance, I mean, sure, I guess those would be nice, right? But I, I, I don't see it being that useful. Why does my character aim for Moon Lord's eye when his brain is fully exposed? Is he stupid? Uh, that's that's a great question, actually. You couldn't you just destroy his brain and he'd be dead and just ones from one attack area? That would make sense, right? Moon Lord is like a cockroach. If you cut out the brain, it will live for some time, and at that time, it will be uncontrollable. The eyes are the most dangerous part of him, and if you want to kill him, you need to destroy the heart like a vampire. This is the logical explanation. Uh, yeah, that actually makes sense. Yeah. How about a seed that reverses the order of the bosses? Actually, that'd be pretty interesting seed. Although, how would it work? Like, if Moon Lord's the first boss, how would you get gear enough to, like, good enough to fight him? I'm not sure how that would work. Maybe there'd be ways to get really high level gear early on in the game, but then you could easily just wipe through all the other bosses. It's an interesting idea, but I feel like the, the playthrough in this seed wouldn't last for very long. What does this mean? Uh, the image on the yo-yos. I've wondered this for a very long time. I actually found out not too long ago. It has something to do with these being like real life yo-yos or something. And that's like the brand image or to symbolize what brand it's from or something. All yo-yos with that means they have a real life counterpart you can buy. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. Oh no. Whoa. If that's actually a real thing that's happened, hopefully he gets his money back because that doesn't seem good. Theoretically, that's possible. Terraria map. I wouldn't be surprised if there's Waldo hiding somewhere. You know, I wouldn't be either because, well, I wonder if this person edited it, edited in Waldo somewhere on in this map. But there's also, in the game, there's actually a Waldo painting that can just spawn an underground cavern buildings, houses, or whatever they are, those can just spawn there, so technically, there actually might be one in this picture, although not visible, because the picture is very zoomed out. User on the subreddit, how do I find the shimmer, me? How to find exactly where your shimmer is, using guide names and shrine mats. Wait, is that actually a technique? You can find the shimmer with the guide and shrine stuff? That's interesting. How is that possible? You know, I've never really even had to look for the shimmer. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen a natural shimmer biome. I just have made my own with the bottomless shimmer bucket. The minion counter coming in 1.4.5 should display as a fraction. Yeah, that's a great idea. I mean, adding the counter on there is pretty nice. I didn't know this was actually being added, but I'm glad it is because, well, that's just useful. Sometimes I don't know how many summons I even have out or what the max is. And... The fraction one being able to see how many you have max would be so useful because for me, when I have a summon or build, which doesn't happen often, I just keep spamming the summon for quite a while because I can't really tell sometimes when I've spawned them all in. <laughs> Made a post similar to this earlier. What about this? The bug catching potion. Increases the spawn rate of critters, four minute duration. It's sold by the zoologist for seven gold. Dur during new moons. Why just during new moons? I don't know. Anyways, this would be pretty nice to add. I mean, it's not really necessary, or, but it's just another quality of life thing. Would be helpful if you're trying to get a bunch of critters for just fishing bait. I don't know what else you would need the critters for, but yeah, I, I would have this added to the game. That'd be nice. I made a pre-boss summoner armor set since it didn't have one yet. Boreal Leaf Armor. So this would have extra mini slot and summon damage. Yeah, that'd be nice. I feel like the summoner class does need some more armor sets at the very start of the game. Me about to defeat the twins, the game for some reason. Yeah, yeah. Just chucks a wyvern at you. <laughs> yep. Dude, that's so annoying. Or even any other boss that's just you're fighting in the air and then you end up going too high and then the game spawns a wyvern and the wyvern just comes out of nowhere and just takes out all your health it's very unfortunate but 
it is what it is. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy, could you please like and subscribe to my channel? I would really appreciate it. I will also leave the link to my Discord server in the description of this video if you want to go ahead and join that. But anyways, that is going to be it, and goodbye.